The news headline, Unamde Kanu. Yoruba groups meet on Sunday to decide on joining IPOP's one month sit at home. Details below. The spokesperson of the Ilana Omoodua, Maxwell Adeyemi, has explained that the group will have a meeting on Sunday to decide whether or not to accept the invitation of the indigenous people of Biafra to join the proposed one month sit at home. Recall that IPOB, in a statement issued by the media and public secretary of the group, Ima Powerful, enjoyed other agitators for self-determination from other ethnic nationalities in the country to join its one-month sit-at-home protest commencing on October 21. According to him, the one-month protest would be subject to the refusal of the Directorate of State Services to bring its leader, Unam Dikanu, to court on the said date. The group alleged that it had learned that there was a plan by the Nigerian government not to bring Kanu to court on that day as a ploy to continue to incarcerate him. When Sahara reporters reached out to Ilana Omoodua, the umbrella body for the Yoruba self determination groups, the spokesman Adeyemi said he could not make a statement at the time due to its sensitive nature. According to him, there is a meeting scheduled for Sunday where the IPOP's proposal will be discussed and a decision taken as to whether the group will join in the sit at home protest or not. Speaking with Sahara reporters, he said that it is a very sensitive issue. When we have our meeting on Sunday, we will let you know our position. It is a very sensitive matter and I cannot solely speak about it. We will have our meeting on Sunday. In June, Kano Leda was arrested in Kenya and extradited to Nigeria to face treason charges. He was subsequently arraigned and brought before Binta Unyako, a judge of the Federal High Court in Abuja, who asked him to be remanded in the custody of the Department of State Services. DSS. Kano is facing charges bordering on treasonable felony instituted against him at the court in response to his agitation for the Republic of Biafra. The scheduled trial in July suffered a setback with the judge adjourning the till October 21. The Yoruba group, the Odudua, said they will be having their meeting on Sunday to decide whether they will join the high pubs one month sit at home. Recall that the high pub in their statement by the media and public secretary of the group, Ima Powerful, enjoyed other agitators for self-determination from other ethnic nationalities in the country to join its one month sit at home protest commencing on October 1. The Elana Omo Odua, the umbrella body for the Yoruba Self Determination Group, the spokesman, Adeyemi said he could not make a statement at the time due to its sensitive nature. According to him, he said a meeting has been scheduled for Sunday where the IPOP's proposal will be discussed and a decision taken as to whether the group will join the sit at home protest or not join the sit at home protest. He said that the issue is a very sensitive issue. That when they have their meeting on Sunday, they will let us know their position. As it is a very sensitive matter, he cannot solely speak about it until they have their meeting on Sunday. On, in June, the Kanu was arrested in Kenya and it was brought to Nigeria to face treason charges. Although it was told that the Department of State Services did not want to bring Kanu to the court October 21, that was why they enforced seats at home starting on the October 21. 
The scheduled trial in July suffered a setback with the judge adjourning it to October 21. This is coming in when IPOP asks Southwest Middle Belt to join one month seat at home. The proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOD, IPOB, has called on the Southwest and the Middle Belt to observe a one month seat at home if Unam Dikanu, its leader, is not produced in court on October 21. IPOP said the seat at home would be a show of support for Kanu, who is currently in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. In a statement issued on Sunday by Ima Powerful, IPOP spokesperson, the group also asked Igbo businessmen and women outside the Southeast to shut down their businesses in support of Kanu. Following our earlier declaration of one month lockdown of Biafra land, should the Nigerian government fail to bring our leader Mazi Unam Dikano to the court on October 1? The statement reads We, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, request our brothers and sisters in Odudura Republic and Middle Belt, including Igbo and Biafra businessmen and women, traders, who is doing business outside Biafra land to shut down Israel business for us to demonstrate our resolve for the emergence of our new nation, Biafra, and support for our leader, Masi Unam Dikanu, and others who are facing similar fate with us to join us in the sympathy protest. All lovers of Biafra, including Christians, communities in the north and other parts of Nigeria, will receive unnecessary humiliation, intimidation, and killings from Fulani terrorists, bandits, and murderous headsmen should understand that time has come for all victims of Fulani impunity and actual cities to unite together for resistance. We advise all oppressed people in Nigeria to be prepared for the one month sit at home if the federal government of Nigeria and the St Department of State Services, DSL, DSS, fails to produce Unam Dikanu in court on the next court or the adjourned date, Masi Unam Dikanu is a freedom fighter demanding justice for the oppressed indigenous people in Nigeria. He committed no crime to the service continued detention without trial. In June, Kanu was arrested. On July 26, Binta Inyako, judge of the Federal High Court, Abuja, adjourned the trial of Kanu to October 21, owing to the failure of the federal government to produce him in court. The Odudura people said they'll be having their meeting on Sunday to know whether or not they will join the protest, the Sitaton protest. Thank you, listeners, for listening to this news. Do have a good day.